Welcome to Pisces November Tarot 2021. Now this is just a general, but if you'd like a full reading, head over to the description below. Hello Pisces and welcome to your November 2021 mini reading with me Nikki K. So Pisces, I'm going to talk about the two major planetary aspects that are planetary themes that are happening, then I'll do your card message. So the first one, and also the main theme for you, is your ninth house. You know, there's multiple Scorpios in your ninth house. It's about you learning, your higher learning, mental, spiritual practice, the law, publishing. It's also about your main things about your beliefs. So these are the things you'll be working on. And also with this new moon in your ninth house, this is so great for a lot of you to really get back into the practice of relearning, rehashing what you've put to the side. Some of you could also see like, you know, you if you some of you are writers or doing anything creative or doing anything with the law, you know, things can actually go in your way now. Or you can get your work published or even start work re working on your any writing that you're doing. Um, even like when it comes to like beliefs and that, some of you may decide that you want to go back to church or even find someone that can help you with your beliefs. This is about seeking like a new teacher. The other planet message is from the lunar eclipse that we have, which is in your third house, okay? So this is going to greatly benefit you. It's going to benefit all of the water signs. You, Scorp well, Scorpio, yeah, <laughs> you and Cancer are going to benefit greatly from this. Um, and, you know, even though it's in your third house, this is about, you know, your communication, written, speaking, your siblings, your neighborhood, short distance. But this is about releasing. Some of you could probably come to like a conclusion that this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to write. Um, there could be an ending of conversations when it comes to your siblings, neighbors and friends. This is about sorting stuff out. Things that were pushed to the back and now they're coming to the fore. And... This is about your mental health as well. We're not, we don't talk about that as much, but this is about the mental as well. So I feel a lot of you Pisces would be doing, it's actually great for you guys to be starting like a sort of like a practice to try and be calm because we have a square to Jupiter in this, in Aquarius, which is, you know, your sixth house, your, sorry, your 12th house. So this will actually help a lot of you to be doing some type of spiritual practice when it comes to the themes here. So people that are like late degrees Pisces, late degrees Cancer will feel this the most. Obviously it will sextile you, but if you're like earth signs, you will definitely feel this. Okay, but nevertheless, you're gonna, it's going to be a great time for you. When we come to like your card message, the first card message you have is discernment. For the for, for this month, it's about discernment. I feel some of you Pisces, this card message is saying some of you are not really afraid to say what needs to be said. Some people could be actually be shocked by your saying. Um, when it says when it also discernment for you Pisces is about speaking your truth. Okay, if you if there's some. I feel that this is a bit, of a, a bit of a psychic time for a lot of you. Obviously, with obviously with the ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius Jupiter, you're going to be in your element, so you may not be afraid to call out things that you see, okay? And as you can see, you see people. One one's laughing, covering their eyes, and one's blocking their ears. It's about speaking your truth because it will serve you very well, okay? So the main theme for you this month is discernment. When we come to like your weekly message for November, the first mess, the first card you have is a death card. And it's funny because the death card is a Scorpio card and it is about leave, it's about endings. There could be a reluctance to end things, but nevertheless, it's about endings. And I feel some of you are taking off this dark cloak and releasing it. We've come from this eighth house in Libra. You know, a lot of you had to sort out money issues, whether it was joint finances, there was stuff that was brought up on a deep emotional level, whether it was sexual or, you know, thing from the past. Some of you had to do a lot of groundwork 
in terms of like your deep deeper self and now you are ready to release that you know there's a fresh beginning happening for you guys but still i feel a lot of you will still have to keep purging you still still like emotional baggage that's come along that's coming that you still have to work on i feel some of you also could be doing some psychological work with a therapist or even your friends okay so you are actually now ready to release the old and bring in the new but still there is still things lurking emotionally or in your mental realm okay but nevertheless you are ready to release it the second card you have for the second week because also this is coincides with the new moon which is in scorpio and you know you i feel a lot of you also are going to start seeing um stuff like whether it's anything concerned like the ninth house as well but you're going to actually really be honest with yourself and see okay i don't really need this okay when we come to your second week, you have the Ten of Swords. And whenever this card comes, it feels like a ooh. But nevertheless, it's an ending that's happening. Okay? And there's light around the corner. I feel some of you are going to find out some hidden secrets. Okay? These secrets could be within you that you're not telling people. But I feel that there is. there could be like ten people that you're finding out things about. And some of it could also shock a lot of you. Some of it could not shock you because it's it's a highly psychic time. I also, you know, some of you it's a it's a time to move away from anything that is mundane, anything that is the same. Okay, and the Seven of Swords. It is it is a harsh card. But sometimes if anything happens to you during the second week, whether it's a shock, what you find out, it's supposed to come out. It's supposed to shock you because or some of you may not be shocked. OK, but whatever happens, it's supposed to happen in order for you to. You know, not necessarily just move on, but get a result that you need to, you know, be somewhere else or be around other people as well. When we come to the third week, which is the lunar eclipse week in Taurus, which is your third house, you have the sun card. And this is a Leo card. You've got two Leo cards. Very beautiful. The sun card is a very positive time. You know, even though there's some other crazy aspects that's happening, still, I feel a lot of you Pisces are very positive. I feel a lot of you Pisces have not only done the groundwork, Especially for the first two weeks of November, but even in October, you've done a lot of groundwork and now you're seeing the fruits of your labour. If some of, if if any of you Pisces have been very creative in any way, you've done like any writing, being just you know general creative, but also doing any like spiritual work continuous, you're gonna start seeing benefits now. Um, during the lunar eclipse, it's not gonna happen immediately, but you're gonna start seeing gates being opened. The sun card is also about fertility. Okay, so some of you Pisceans could be discussing having a baby or some of you could fall pregnant or find out, you know, that you're pregnant during this the third week. But fertility is also creativity. So some of you may actually find that now that you're actually enjoying the creative process, even though things were very... It could have been very boring. I know a lot of you Pisces don't like doing the same thing over and over again. You need change. But now the third week, you can find that actually I really enjoy this. Some of you could also overestimate, get overexcited, could be rushing to do this and do this because, you know, opportunities can definitely come during the third week. But no, you know, if you if you're doubting it, why it's happened, know that because you put the groundwork in before. OK, so this lunar eclipse, I feel, especially if you're like late degrees Pisces, I feel that a lot of you are actually going to be, you know, it's, it's a very beneficial time. And also, if you've wished on anything, Pisces, you may actually see it happening as well during the third week or it can happen during the last week. But I feel that if you're making any wishes the third week, or if you made wishes before, you can actually see in the third week. 
the last week of November and also going to Sagittarius season. This is going all into your 10th house of like fame and career. You also have the strength card, which is Leo card. Okay, and it's showing you that the month of November, although it seemed a little bit emotionally intense, should I say, you've come through it. But also, you, I feel, I feel a lot of you known because I think, I think a lot of you have known what you had to do. The last week, it's like, okay, I know what this was about. You know, I've made it. I'm strong. I've been through a lot. But I feel that some of you during the last week, if not just November, I feel it's from probably like October and September. You've probably been through a lot. And now, you've, now it's November going into, yes, now it's coming out of November going into December. You're starting to look back. On what you've been through and it and I feel it could be physical like physical your body it could also be like um, financial emotional but you've come through it okay you've actually come through it and November is a month for you Pisces to really it's, it's like that sort of like last turn of what I what else I need to work on in order for me to enjoy, like, my holidays and Christmas and, you know. So you've come through it all and it's a positive time. And I think it's mostly because of the lunar eclipse that's happening. It, 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 I don't feel it'll put a damper on any of you Pisces at all, you know. Um, obviously, whatever comes up, you'll deal with it. But I feel that there won't be as much negative negativity that's happening for you. That's one of the reasons why you're going to really much enjoy, especially, like, the second especially like the third and fourth week of november it's going to be very magical and some of you may not even believe what's going to be happening as well okay but but essentially because these two cards are the fire cards you the leo cards you know um even though it's a very positive time just know that any, if anything does happen anything does come up doesn't mean that everything's over because leo is a very dramatic sign it's very much Oh, why is this happening to me? I just want positivity. I want no drama. It's life. Okay, so anything that's thrown your way as well, it's just life. Deal with it and then you can move on. Okay. So Pisces, that was your November 2021 tarot message. Hope you enjoyed this message. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also... Um, check out Empath Butterflies, who does daily and love readings for the signs. And another thing I was going to ask you, Pisces, if you'd like me to do like separate videos for monthly or just a full video for everyone. Something you guys to think about. But yes, have a lovely November, Pisces, and I will speak to you guys very soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.